So, ladies and gentlemen, as dramatic as those before and after images look like right there, they are merely an outward reflection of something far more profound that happened to me, all due to my journey of unexpected transformation. And a journey that started in September of 2011 when I drew a line in the sand of my life and decided to step over from being a very shut down individual most of my life to insisting that my heart be open, vulnerable, and willing to feel everything in life. Now, as great as that sounds, it's a little problematic to make that happen all the time because life throws stuff at us all the time. So what I do is I carry around these little glass hearts with me. And I see men, women, and children throughout the day that I just give them to. I don't even know these people. And what I discovered is that the very act of giving them keeps my heart open, which is really important to me. Now, with that, I also jumped into the abyss of not knowing what was next in my life, which means saying goodbye to a marriage of 26 years, saying goodbye to all the friends associated with that marriage, saying goodbye to a career on purpose that fed my bank account but not my soul, and said goodbye to any semblance of certainty. So at that point, I needed to rebuild my life, and I started with defining who that person was going to be that I'm going to share my life with. So I created the Dream Woman Project, and yes, it is exactly as it sounds. And this Dream Woman Project, I mean, this is 13 pages of detail, folks, with images and text. I wasn't going to leave anything to chance, and exactly one year later, when I was done with that, it manifested, or she manifested. Now, two months after pulling the trigger on everything, I was struck with prostate cancer. And as you can see on that, on that chart there, I lost most of my family to cancer of various kinds. So it's serious. But what was even more impactful is that I was rendered fully impotent. Now, imagine this for a moment. Put yourself in my position. You were faithful to a marriage where the last 11 years were basically roommates, only to get out of it thinking you're going to have relationships with another woman, and this doesn't work. And yes, I went, you got to be fucking kidding me, that, you know, when, this, when that happened. So to say I was frustrated is, well, putting it mildly. So right about that point, I had to hit the reset button. And that meant I would say yes to everything, yes to all kinds of things, yes to going to Brazil for three months just because, and yes to opening my heart to the other half of the human species where it was very shut down, and that's for men, thanks to a rather interesting childhood. And the way I handled that is I joined an organization called the Mankind Project. And uh, this is all about building better men for a safer world. And they have this three-day weekend called the New Warrior Training Adventure. Folks, by the end of that three days, I was able to create relationships with men just as deeply as I am, as I can with women. Now, speaking of women, meet my dream woman who manifested exactly one year later. And she happens to be in the audience with us right here right here, and, uh, <laughs> and you know, I wanted our, given my condition, I wanted our first intimate adventure to be very, very special, so I booked a room at the Hot Springs Spa, up in, uh, Sycamore Hot Springs Spa, and I wasn't going to take anything uh, at chance, so I brought the, the, all the artillery for erectile function. I mean, at the best that money can buy and some of the ugliest stuff, too. And so, you know, I thought, I'm going to be damned if this isn't going to work. Well, it turns out, none of it worked. In fact, it failed miserably. But that is when everything shifted, because the moment I accepted this condition was the moment that whole new worlds of intimacy opened up for us that went beyond our wildest imaginings. Now, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about here, this next chart shows what it used to be like for me when I was intimate with a woman. It usually lasted 20, 30 minutes, ending with a grunt, roll over, snore, and she's going, what the fuck? Come on, we're just, we're, I'm just getting warmed up here. Meanwhile, now, because of me slowing down and accepting my condition, we now spend an average of two to four hours at a time making love. And we have more energy after we're done than when we start. And as you can see, the response is so far off the charts that when we share this with people, they literally have told us this is not physically or humanly possible. And I beg to differ. It so much is for everybody. Well, right about that time, I was, ready to, I was ready to go to Brazil because I had booked the trip before I met her. And I met a lot of interesting people, saw some interesting sights. But more importantly, it gave me an opportunity to really think what was next in my life. 
how am I going to serve people with the gift that I was given for the cancer and the, pro and the impotence? Well, the first group that comes to mind are the millions of men and women in the world that are suffering from ED. Folks, erectile dysfunction, dysfunction is the number one biggest elephant in the room today. No one talks about it. I am that voice. I can help these people powerfully with what, I, what my partner and I have discovered. You see, in our culture, men see their sexual identity as a man based on how this works. And I've, that's very disempowering and it makes it very limiting. And I can show them an entirely different way, just in the way of what to believe that will make a huge difference for them in their relationship. Now, the next group that I can help are the ones, people that are in couples where everything's working fine, but they suffer from what I call the impotence of disconnect. You see, ever, ever see couples sit at, at dinner together with, you know, texting other people? That's disconnect, and that's a form of impotence. I can speak to that because I used to be that shut down. And so, how do I go about bringing this message to everybody. I've got a book coming out in 2015 called Hardly Broken. I'm, I'm on the radio several times a week all over the place. I'm speaking everywhere, including TEDx, and I'm published in a lot of online uh, outlets. Well, that was pretty exciting. So here's, here's what I want to share with you. Over these last three years, the one thing, a lot of, more than one thing, but one thing I really learned is that no matter what kind of tragedy or challenge life throws our way, inside each of those is the seeds of a far greater possibility. And if you choose to look at your own life through that lens, you too may find yourself on the unexpected journey of transformation. Thanks very much. Thank you.